Hey guys, I'm T and welcome to the channel. If you're new here, we make trendy and fun crochet tutorials twice a week. If you haven't already, smash that like button, drop a comment below, and subscribe to join in on the fun. This labor of love was a fun one to make. From the cables to the bell to the alpine pocket. It's the culmination of all the recent things we've learned on the channel, plus a bit of modern design flair. I love it. I made this one in green, but this design would work well in any color, so I can't wait to see your recreations. If you do, be sure to tag me in all the usual places. Bonus points if you make it in gray. Now, I am off to take a nap, so enjoy the video, and without further ado... For this project, any Category 4 yarn will work, but I use 800 grams of yarn, or that's 900 yards if you're stateside. As the tools, a 5, 6, and 9 millimeter hook, scissors, stitch markers, and a tape measure. There is a written pattern down below. Use offer code TCDDIY for a discount off any $9.99 plus order. Watch to the end of the video to learn how to enter this week's giveaway. We're using six stitches for this project and they will be as follows. Chain. Slip stitch. Single crochet. Half double crochet. Double crochet, treble crochet, and double treble crochet. This tutorial is for a size small, but you can adjust it for your size and we explain how to in the video, so let's get started. Getting this top started, we're first going to grab our category 4 yarn and make a slip knot. Next, we're going to grab our 5mm hook, and we are all going to start off by making a chain of 15. Now that we have our chain, we're going to block off that last chain and do a chain up of 2. This counts as our first half double crochet. We're going to yarn over, and then half double crochet into that chain that we blocked off, or the third chain from our hook. Insert, yarn over, pull through. We should have three loops on our hook. Yarn over and pull through three. Let's do the next half double crochet together. Yarn over, insert your hook into that next chain. Yarn over, pull through. We should have three loops on our hook. Yarn over, pull through, all three. We're going to put one half double crochet into every chain. We've just finished our first row of half double crochets. From here, we're going to do another row of half double crochets. So chain up two and flip our work. Put one half double crochet into every stitch. So yarn over, insert your hook into that first stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through three. Let's do one more together. Yarn over, insert your hook into that next stitch, pull through, Yarn over, pull through three. We've just finished our row number two, and now we're going to get started with our cables. So, do a chain up of two and flip our work. We're first going to do a small twist, and that's going to start with a front post treble crochet. So, yarn over twice. Into the third half double crochet from our first half double crochet row, we're going to do a front post treble crochet. Counting this chain up of two, this counts as one, two half double crochets. Into that third, insert your hook behind that half double crochet. Yarn over, pull through. We should have four loops on our hook. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, and pull through two. We're going to do one more front post treble crochet into the stitch right after this one. So yarn over twice. Insert your hook into that next half double crochet. Yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Now for our twist, we're going to do one more front post treble crochet. Working into our first half double crochet from our first row. 
so yarn over twice. Insert your hook into the first half double crochet, not going into that chain up of two. So insert, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. This is our first twist, and before we get started on our middle cable, we're going to do our dividing stitch, which is always going to be a front post treble crochet. So yarn over twice. Into that next available half double crochet, insert your hook, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over, pull through two. Now we're going to get started on our middle cable. So now these are going to start with front post double treble crochets. So yarn over one, two, three times. We're going to skip the next two half double crochets and insert our hook into the third. So skip one, skip two, underneath that third, yarn over, pull through. We're going to yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, and pull through two. Our middle cable is going to be worked in sets of two, so we're going to do another front post double treble crochet into the stitch right after that one. So yarn over one, two, three times. Insert your hook behind that half double crochet and pull through. We're going to yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over, pull through two. Now for the twist for our middle cable, we're going to do a front post double treble crochet into the two stitches that we skipped. So yarn over one, two, three times. Insert your hook into that first half double crochet that we skipped. Yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, pull through two, pull through two, and pull through two, and then once more into that last half double crochet that we skipped over. Yarn over one, two, three times. Insert your hook into that half double crochet, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, pull through two, two, and two. To close off our middle cable, we're going to do two front post treble crochets into the next two stitches. So yarn over twice. Into that next stitch, insert your hook. Yarn over, pull through. Pull through two, pull through two, and pull through two. Into that next stitch, yarn over twice, insert. Pull through, pull through two, pull through two, and pull through two. Our middle cable is now all finished, and now I need to do our dividing cable, which, like our first one, is going to always be a front post treble crochet. So yarn over twice. Into that next stitch, pull through, pull through two, pull through two, and pull through two. Now that we have this, we're going to do one more small twist on the outside. It's going to be the same one as the first one that we did. So start this off by yarning over twice. We're going to skip this next stitch, insert our hook behind that next stitch. Yarn over, pull through. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two. Into the next stitch. Yarn over twice, insert your hook, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, and then for our twist, for our small twist, we're going to yarn over twice, and then work back into that stitch that we skipped. So insert your hook, yarn over, pull through, pull through two, pull through two, pull through two. And to close off this row, we're going to put one half double crochet into the last stitch from our previous row. 
So yarn over, insert your hook into that last stitch. Yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through all three. And once we have that, our fourth row is going to be a row of half double crochets. So yarn over twice. Flip our work, put one half double crochet into every stitch. Now that we have half double crocheted all the way down, we're now going to get started on our row number five or our second cable row. So do a chain up of two and flip our work. Our small twist along the ends are always going to be the same, so let's get that started. Prepare for a front post treble crochet, so yarn over twice. We're going to skip the first stitch from our previous cable stitch row and then insert our hook into the second. Insert, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Behind that next stitch, one more front post treble crochet, yarn over twice. Insert your hook, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. And now for our twist, Yarn over twice, insert your hook into that first stitch that we skipped. Insert, pull through. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, and pull through two. Our first twist is now finished. Now to do our dividing stitch, which is a front post treble crochet. Yarn over twice. Insert your hook into that next stitch. Pull through, yarn over, pull through two, pull through two, and pull through two. Now to do our middle cable. We're going to start this off by doing two front post treble crochets. So yarn over twice. Insert your hook into that next stitch that we have with one front post treble crochet. Pull through, pull through two, two, two. And then into the next one with another front post treble crochet. So pull through, pull through two, two, two. Next, we're going to do a set of two front post double treble crochets. So yarn over one, two, three times. Skip these next two stitches and then insert our hook into the next. So count one, two, three, insert your hook into that third. Pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, and pull through two. And we're going to put one more front post double treble crochet into the next stitch. So yarn over three times. Insert your hook behind that next stitch. Pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, and pull through two. We're now going to do our twist for this part of our cable. So we're going to do two front post double treble crochets going into the two stitches that we skipped. Yarn over one, two, three times. But we're going to be working into that window that we just made. So hang on to your yarn because it can very easily slip off. And we're going to pull our work down and try to find these two stitches in this window. So hang on to your yarn, pull this down, and these are the two stitches that I have. I'm going to insert my hook into that first one. Pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. And that is what our twist is looking like. We're going to do one more into that last stitch that we have. So yarn over one, two, three times. Hang on to your yarn, pull our work down, and find that last stitch in that window. Insert your hook, pull through. Yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, Yarn over, pull through two. 
And now our middle cable is all finished. Next, we're gonna close off with our dividing stitch and then our small twist. So yarn over twice, insert your hook into that next stitch, yarn over, pull through. Yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, and for our small twist, yarn over twice. Skip that next stitch, insert your hook underneath that next stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, and pull through two. Into that next stitch, yarn over twice, insert with another front post treble crochet, so pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. To close off this twist, insert your hook into that stitch that we skipped with another front post treble crochet, yarn over twice, into that skip stitch, pull through, Yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. And to close off this cable row, we're going to put one half double crochet into the last stitch from our previous half double crochet row. Yarn over, insert your hook into that last stitch, pull through. Yarn over and pull through all three loops. From here, do a chain up of two, Flip our work. Put one half double crochet into every stitch. We now have rows one through six. Now placing this at the base of our neck, we're going to repeat rows three through six and we'll meet back after a cable stitch row a little above our belly button for our pocket. Stopping at this point, it's gonna give me a pocket that's about four inches or 10 centimeters keeping in mind that we will have a bottom band as well. There will be timestamps in the description for you guys if you need a refresher on each of our cable stitch rows. We'll go ahead and get this done and then I'll meet you guys back. So I now have the length of my cable. I have a total of 39 rows and this is about 15 and a half inches or 40 centimeters. And now we're going to prep for our pocket. So after our last cable row, we're going to do a chain of two and flip our work. And we're going to do 15 front loop half double crochets, and we're making our loops for our pockets to be worked into later. So let's do the first few. Prepare for a half double crochet like normal. Instead of going in through both loops like usual, we're going to insert our hook only in through the loop that's closest to us. So let's pull this out and insert my hook into that front loop only. Yarn over. Pull through, yarn over, pull through three. Let's do the next few. Yarn over, insert your hook into that front loop, pull through, pull through three. Let's do one more. Yarn over, insert your hook into that front loop, and half double crochet. Put one front loop half double crochet into every stitch. Now that we're at the end of our front loop half double crochet row, we're going to chain one, flip our work, and then put one single crochet into every stitch. So insert your hook into that first stitch. Doesn't have to be in the front loop anymore. Yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. Insert your hook into that next stitch, yarn over, pull through, pull through two. Put one single crochet into every stitch. And now that we're at the end of our single crochet row, do a chain up of two, flip our work, and put one regular half double crochet into every stitch. So let's just do the first. Yarn over, insert your hook into that first stitch, pull through, pull through two. From here, we're gonna alternate between a half double crochet and a single crochet row until we get our desired pocket height. I'm gonna make mine about four inches or 10 centimeters, and I'm gonna make sure that I'm ending on a single crochet row as well. So I'll meet you guys back so that you guys know how many rows I have in total. 
All right, so I now have the length of my entire sweater. I have a total of 53 rows and it's now 19 and a half inches or 49 centimeters. And we are now going to work along the length of our cable, putting one single crochet into every side single crochet row and then two single crochets into every side half double crochet row. So from here, we're going to do a chain up of one. Our first row is a side single crochet row. So we're going to insert our hook into that side loop with one single crochet. Our next is a side half double crochet. So insert our hook into there with one and then into that same side half double crochet with two. Let's do one more set. My next is a side single crochet. So I'll go in with one single crochet. And then my next is a side half double crochet. So I'll go in with one and then two. I will meet you guys back when we reach our cable stitch section. So now that we're at our cable stitch section, we're going to maintain the same sequence that we had over here, but these are all going to be side half double crochet rows. So let's do the first one together. The last set that I did was two single crochets into the same side half double crochet. So into the next, we're going to go in with one single crochet. Insert your hook with one single crochet into my next side half double crochet row. I'm going to go in with two single crochets. Let's do one more set into my next side half double crochet. Go in with one. Next side half double crochet. Go in with two. Keep alternating between one to two single crochets, making our way all the way down. When we reach the corner, do a chain up of one and cut, and then I'll meet you guys back. So we have just single crocheted all the way down. We have done a chain up one and cut, and now we're going to get started on our side panel. We're going to insert our hook into this bottom corner stitch that we have, making sure we're inserting into that back loop. We're going to insert our yarn onto our hook, pull through and do a chain up of two. From here, we're going to put one back loop half double crochet into every stitch, leaving the last five. So yarn over, insert your hook into that first back loop, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through three. I'll meet you back when we have just five stitches left. We have put one back loop half double crochet into every stitch until we had five stitches left. We're now going to do a decrease of two back loop half double crochets into the next two, and we're going to leave the last three. So yarn over. Insert your hook into that next back loop, yarn over, pull through. Insert your hook into that next back loop, yarn over, pull through. We should have four loops on our hook. Yarn over, pull through all four loops. We're going to leave those last three, do a chain up of one, flip our work, and do a decrease of two back loop single crochets from here. Insert your hook into that first back loop, yarn over, pull through. Insert your hook into that next back loop, yarn over, pull through. You should have three loops on our hook. Yarn over, pull through all three. From here, put one back loop single crochet into every stitch. When we reach the end of this row, do a chain up of two, flip our work, and put one back loop half double crochet into every stitch until we have two stitches left because we are going to decrease with each other just one more time. We have put one back loop half double crochet into every stitch, now leaving the last two. Let's do another decrease together. Yarn over, insert your hook into the second to last back loop. Yarn over, pull through into that next back loop, yarn over, pull through. We should have four loops on our hook. Yarn over, pull through all four. From here, we might as well do another decrease of single crochets together. So do a chain up of one and flip our work. Into the next back loop, yarn over, pull through. And then into that next back loop, pull through, yarn over, pull through three. Keep alternating between one back loop half double crochet and one back loop single crochet row while maintaining the decrease along the top until this portion reaches mid underarm. And then I will meet you guys back so we can do the other side. 
I've just finished up going in with one side of my front panel and I have a total of 10 rows. And just in case if you were wondering, yes, it'll slant just a little bit, but it'll all even out once when everything is seamed. I'm now gonna show you guys where to insert your hook to do the other side and then the first row, and then it's gonna be a repeat of this side. So to get this side started, just so we don't have to do a chain up of one and cut, we are going to be inserting our hook into the top corner stitch of our cable stitch section. Insert our yarn onto our hook and pull through. Do a chain up of one to secure. And just like before, we're gonna be alternating between one to two single crochets into every side half double crochet, and then also into every side single and side half double crochet for this bottom half as well. So let's do the first bit together. So this is my first side half double crochet. I'm gonna insert with one single crochet. And then this is my next side half double crochet. So I'm going to insert with two single crochets. Keep alternating just like that until we get to the end of this row. Now that we have single crocheted all the way down, we're now going to go in with a row of front loop half double crochets, but it's going to be a repeat of this side. So let's just do the first few together. From here, we're going to do a chain up of two and flip our work. We're going to prepare for a half double crochet. And just like before, instead of going in through both loops, we're only going to be inserting our hook into the loop that's closest to us. So insert your hook into that front loop, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through three. Let's do the next few. Yarn over, insert your hook into that front loop, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through three. We're going to put one front loop half double crochet into every stitch, leaving the last five. We're going to decrease into the fifth and fourth to last, do a chain up of one, flip our work, do a decrease of two back loop single crochets and work our way down. We're going to repeat a row of back loop half double crochets and back loop single crochets for the same amount of rows as we have as our other front panel. Do a chain up of one and cut, and then I'll meet you guys back so we can do the back panel. My entire front panel is now finished and we are going to start our back panel. We're gonna start it off by making a chain that's the same amount of single crochets that we made in our first row of our side panel. If you guys are doing my numbers, I have a total of 79 stitches, so I'm going to make a chain of 79. Now that we have our chain, we're going to block off that last chain, do a chain up of one. This is our turning chain. Into that chain that we blocked off, or the second chain from our hook, we're going to insert with a single crochet. So insert, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. Let's do one more. Into that next chain, insert your hook, pull through, pull through two. Pull one single crochet into every chain. Now that we've single crocheted all the way down our chain, we're going to go in with a row of back loop half double crochets. Do a chain up of two, flip our work, prepare for a half double crochet, insert your hook into that first back loop, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through all three. Let's do another, yarn over, insert your hook into that next back loop, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through all three. Put one back loop half double crochet into every stitch. When you reach the end of this row, do a chain up of one, flip our work, and then put one back loop single crochet into every stitch. And from here, we're gonna alternate between a back loop half double crochet and a back loop single crochet row till we have a total of 11 rows. And we're doing 11 because we want a similar size to our cable stitch section. So go ahead and get those done, and then I'll meet you guys back. My 11 rows are now all finished. We should have all ended on a single crochet row. And now we're going to repeat the same thing that we did for the front panel. So chain two, flip our work, and put one back loop half double crochet into every stitch, leaving five. Do a decrease into the fifth and fourth to last, and then we're gonna do the same amount of rows as our front panel while decreasing into every row. I'll meet you guys back 
when we have this all finished so that I can show you guys where to insert your hook for this other side. I have one side of my back panel finished. To start the other side, we're going to insert our hook into the blunt end of our back panel, and then we're going to repeat the same thing that we did on this side. I'll meet you guys back when I have these rows finished up so that we can seam our panels together. My back panel is all finished. Now we're going to seam our front and our back panels together, but we're first gonna make sure that our front panel is underneath our back panel with our cables faced upward. Lay the back panel on top, and then we're going to single crochet them together. First, insert your hook into the corner stitch into both panels. From here, we're gonna yarn over and pull through everything. Insert your hook into the next available stitch, into the front, and then into the next available stitch, into the back. From there, single crochet them together. Let's do the next. Insert your hook into the next available stitch, and then also into the next available stitch, into the other panel, single crochet, and let's do one more. So into that next available stitch, and then next available stitch into the back panel. From there, single crochet them together. Keep single crocheting them together, going all the way down until we don't have any more stitches left. Do a chain up of one and cut, and then do the same thing on the other side. Okay, our sides are seamed, and we're going to get started on our underarm detail together. So making sure that our work is slipped right side up and right side out, we're going to get started on the right side together. And since our cables need to be worked clockwise, we're first going to single crochet counterclockwise. So for this right side, we're going to insert our hooks into the corner stitch into the front panel, and then we're going to single crochet into the armhole, working our way to the back. I'm going to insert my yarn onto my hook and pull through. And do a chain up of one to secure. So working our way down towards the back, we should have three regular single crochets to go into before we get started with our underarm portion. So let's do those three single crochets, putting one single crochet into each. There is one. There is two. And there is three. Now we have our underarm portion to go into. So we're gonna alternate between two single crochets and one single crochet. We're gonna put two single crochets into our half double crochets, and then one single crochet into our side single crochet rows. So let's get this started. The first row that I have is a side half double crochet, so I'm gonna put two single crochets into there. Here is one, and here is two. My next row is a side single crochet row, so I'm gonna find that side loop, and then single crochet into there. Maintain this going all the way around until we hit this corner stitch along the back. Now that we have single crocheted all the way down to the back panel's corner, we're all gonna start off by doing a chain out of three. This is going to be for our cable. When we have our chain three, we're gonna block off that last chain. Do a chain up of two, this is our turning chain. Prepare for a half double crochet, and then insert your hook into that chain that we blocked off, or the third chain from our hook, with a half double crochet. So here's one, two, three, insert your hook into that third chain, pull through, yarn over, pull through all three. We're going to put one half double crochet into every chain. So here's two, and then here is three half double crochet. From here, we're going to slip stitch it into the base. We're going to slip stitch it into the second stitch that we have, so count up one, count up two slip stitch into that second stitch to close off this first row. Next, we're gonna slip stitch into the next available stitch to work our way up and flip our work. We're going to put one half double crochet into every stitch, so three half double crochets in total. So yarn over, there is one half double, there is two half doubles-ish, and then here is three half doubles. From here, do a chain up of two, flip our work. And now we're going to be repeating the small twist that we did 
in our front panels cable. So let's get that started. We're going to start this off by yarning over twice. You're going to skip this first half double crochet and insert our hook into the next from our first half double crochet row. So insert your hook behind there, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Into the last half double crochet that we have from our first row, we're going to go in with another front post treble, so yarn over twice. Into that last half double crochet, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. And now we're going to work into that half double crochet that we skipped, not working into that chain two. We're going to yarn over twice. Bring our hook back into that first half double crochet that we skipped from our first row. Pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Now to connect our cable stitch row to the base, we're going to slip stitch it into the second stitch. So count up one, count up two, slip stitch into there. To work our way up to the next row, slip stitch into that next stitch and flip our work. We're going to put one half double crochet into every stitch, so we should all have a total of three half double crochets. So there's one, there's two, there's three. Do a chain up of two and flip our work. Now we're going to repeat our two previous rows, so let's just do it one more time as a quick refresher. So from here we're going to prepare for a front post treble crochet. So yarn over twice. We're going to skip the first stitch that we have from our previous cable stitch row. Insert your hook behind the next. Yarn over, pull through. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two. One more front post treble crochet into the last stitch from our previous cable stitch row. So yarn over twice. Insert, pull through. Yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. And now for our twist, put one front post treble crochet into that stitch that we skipped from our previous cable stitch row. So yarn over twice. Bring our hook back to that first stitch, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. And to connect it into the base again, we are going to slip stitch into that second stitch. So count up one, count up two, slip stitch into that second stitch. Slip stitch into the next stitch to work our way up to the next row. Flip our work, put one half double crochet into every stitch. There's one, there's two, there's three, chain two, and flip our work. From here, we're going to repeat our two previous rows, so the cable stitch row and our half double crochet row, connecting it into the base the same way that we just did. We're going to keep doing that until we hit this corner over here, and then I will meet you guys back. Now that we have just done our cable twists down and around our underarm, we're now just going to clean up the edge with a single crochet row. So from here, do a chain up of one. If you guys ended along the inside, that's completely fine. Just do a chain up of one and cut, and then reattach your hook onto this outside corner. But from here, we're going to alternate between one to two single crochets into every side half double crochet row. So together into our first side half double crochet, we're going to work in with one single crochet. So insert with one single crochet into my next side half double crochet row. We're going to go in with two single crochet. Let's do it again. This is my next side half double crochet. Go in with one, and then my next side half double crochet. Go in with two. Keep doing this going all the way around until we hit this corner. Do a chain up of one and cut, and then I will show you guys where to insert your hook for our other cable stitch section. And now that this side is finished, we're going to repeat what we did on this side, 
but on the left. But we are going to be inserting our hook into the back corner and work towards the front for our single crochet row. And then everything else will be done exactly the same. So go ahead and get that done and then I'll meet you guys back. Now that we have both of our underarm details finished, we can now go in with our sleeve. So try on our piece and then we're going to insert our stitch markers into the area where we want our cold shoulder sleeve to start. Remembering that we will have a ribbing detail along the top of it as well. I have inserted my stitch markers into the seven stitch in from each end. And from here, I'm going to insert my hook into the stitch on the inside of my stitch marker, going towards the middle. I'm going to insert my yarn onto my hook, pull through, and I'm going to start by doing a chain of three. Now, this doesn't count as a stitch. We just want this for the height. From here, we're going to do double crochets, half double crochets, and single crochets until we reach the middle. And then we're going to repeat what we did on this side going up the other side. So into the same stitch that my chain three is coming out of, I'm going to start with an increase of two double crochets. So yarn over, insert your hook into that first stitch, or the one that our chain three is in with one double crochet. We're going to go in with one more double crochet into that same stitch. So yarn over, insert with another double crochet. We're gonna have one more increase of two double crochets into the next stitch. So yarn over, double crochet once, and then into that same stitch, double crochet twice. Now for my numbers, I'm going to go in with four double crochets, two half double crochets, one single crochet, and then I'll be one stitch away from the middle. You guys can divide it between stitches however you guys want, as long as it can work up the same way going up the other side. So let's do my numbers for you guys. Like I said, I'm gonna go in with four double crochets. So there is one, there is two, there is three, and there is four. From here, I'm gonna do two half double crochets. So yarn over, I'm gonna go in with one, and then two half double crochets, and then here is one single crochet. The stitch right after my one single crochet is my middle stitch. So I'm gonna count this as its own thing. And then from here, we're going to mirror everything that we did on this side on this other side, and then I'll meet you guys back. From here, we're going to repeat this row until our two double crochet points can reach around our arm, remembering that we will have an increase into every row into the double crochet section. So go ahead and get this done, and then I will meet you guys back so we can go in with the length of our sleeve. All right, so I have a total of five rows, and my two corners can reach nice and snug around my arm. So I'm going to slip stitch into this other double crochet corner. So insert your hook into this corner stitch. We're going to yarn over, pull through, do a chain of one and cut. From here, I'm going to insert my hook into the back loop of the middle stitch that I have, making sure I'm working in the opposite direction from our previous row. So a really quick tip is taking a look at our previous row. Our top loops will be in the teardrop shape. Whatever direction the curved portion of our teardrop is going, that's the direction we're going into for the previous row. So for this next row, I'm going to be working in the opposite direction. So I'm actually going to flip my work over and then I'm going to insert my hook into the middle stitch, making sure I'm going in through my back loop. I'm going to insert my yarn onto my hook, pull through, and then do a chain up of one to secure. From here, I'm going to put one back loop single crochet into every stitch until I am one stitch away from my tail end. All right, so I put one back loop single crochet into every stitch and I am now just one stitch away from my tail end. So from here, I'm going to decrease, inserting my hook into the last stitch on this side and then into the first stitch on this side. So insert my hook into that back loop, 
pull through, and then onto the other side, insert my hook into that back loop, pull through, yarn over, pull through three. And then we're going to continue putting just one back loop single crochet into every stitch. Once we don't have any more stitches left, we're going to slip stitch into that chain up of one, do a chain up of two, flip our work, and then put one back loop half double crochet into every stitch. And a really quick tip I have is for your sleeve, if it's not snug enough, you can continue to decrease on the outside where we did the decrease from our previous row until it is nice and snug for you. I'll meet you guys back when mine is a good fit for me. And then from there, it's a straight shot down to our elbow right before we get started for our bell. Okay, I've just finished seven rows of decreases. It's perfectly fit to my arm now, so I'm going to alternate between one back loop single crochet row and one back loop half double crochet row with no more decreases until this reaches my elbow. And then I'll meet you guys back right after a single crochet row so that we can bell our sleeve together. Okay, I now have the length of my sleeve. From here down, I have a total of 37 rows. And from here, we're ready to get started on our bell sleeve. So I'm going to switch to my nine millimeter hook and I'm gonna be alternating between a back loop half double crochet row and a back loop single crochet row just for these first two rows. So go ahead and get that done and then I'll meet you guys back. Now that we have those two rows finished up, we're now gonna get started on our increases. So from here, do a chain up of two and flip our work. Put one back loop half double crochet into the next 12 stitches. Now that we have our 12, we're going to increase into the next stitch. So yarn over, insert your hook into that next back loop, pull through, pull through three, there's our first half double crochet, and put one more into that same back loop. There is our second. Maintain the sequence till the end of a row, slip stitch into the second chain, do a chain up of one, and flip. For our single crochet rows, we won't be doing an increase into any of those, so put one back loop single crochet into every stitch and I'll meet you back. Now that I've finished my single crochet row, my next increase row is going to be another increase into the 12th stitch. So do a chain up of two and put one back loop half double crochet into the next 12 stitches. Now that we have our 12 back loop half double crochets, increase into the next. So there's one, and then there's two. Maintain this sequence going all the way around. And from here on out, we're gonna be increasing only into our half double crochet rows. And the sequence is gonna be add two stitches after every two increase rows. So for example, my next increase row will be doing 14 back loop half double crochets, then an increase, a back loop single crochet rows after that, and then for an increase row, another 14 back loop half double crochets and an increase. After that, two increase rows of 16 back loop half double crochets, and then 18 and 20, so on and so forth, until we have the length that we like for our sleeves. Then I'll meet you back to let you know how many rows I have. I've just finished going in with the length of my sleeve. I have a total of 57 rows. And then now that I have this, we can go ahead and do the same thing that we did here on the other side. Now that I have both of my sleeves done, we're now going to go in with our cold shoulder detail, which is a slip stitch band. So we're first going to need to single crochet along our sleeve. So insert your hook into that corner stitch, pull through, do a chain up of one to secure. From here, we're going to put one single crochet into each of these stitches and then three single crochets into every side double crochet. So let's do this together. Insert your hook into that first stitch with a single crochet, into the next with a single crochet. We're gonna keep doing this until we hit our first double crochet, which is right about here. And then from here, we're going to go in with three single crochets. So insert with one, insert with two, and then insert with three if we can. There we go. Now into my next side double crochet, going with another three. There's one, there's two, there's three. 
And we're going to keep doing this going all the way around. Now, once we get to this middle stitch, I will meet you guys back so we can put one seam crochet right in between our two sides. Now that I'm at my last double crochet on this side, I'm going to put one single crochet into this loop that we have right here. It's not going to be an actual stitch, so we're going to have to find one. Insert with a single crochet. And from here, we're going to repeat everything that we did here going up the other side. So three single crochets into every side double crochet, and then put one single crochet into every stitch. I'll meet you guys back at the end of this row. From here, we're all going to make a chain the length that we want our shoulder detail to be, keeping in mind that it will shrink up towards the middle. So I'm going to start off by making a chain of eight. Now that I have my chain, I'm going to block off my last chain and do a chain up of one. Into that chain that we blocked off, or the second chain from our hook, we're going to insert with a slip stitch. So insert, yarn over, and pull through everything on our hook. Let's do it together one more time. Insert into that next chain, yarn over, and pull through everything. Put one slip stitch into every chain. Now that we've slip stitched into every chain, we're now going to slip stitch it into the base to close off this row. So into the next stitch into the base, we're going to insert our hook, yarn over, and pull through everything. Once we have that, we're going to work our way up to the next row, which is slip stitching up the next stitch, and flip our work. And from here, I'm going to put one back loop slip stitch into every stitch, and then we're going to decrease into the last two. So insert my hook into that first back loop, yarn over, pull through everything. Into that next back loop, yarn over, pull through everything. Keep putting one back loop slip stitch till we have two left. Now into my second to last back loop, I'm going to insert my hook, yarn over, pull through. Into my last back loop, I'm going to insert. We should have three loops on our hook, so I'm going to yarn over, and pull through all three loops. So pull through one, two, three, just like that. That is our decrease. From here, do a chain up of one, flip our work, and then put one back loop slip stitch into every stitch. Now that I've slip stitched all the way down, we're gonna connect it into the base together one more time. So slip stitch it into that next stitch to close off this row. And then to start up our next row, we're going to slip stitch, flip our work, and then we're going to repeat the two previous rows. So put one back loop slip stitch into every stitch, decrease into the last two, do a chain up of one, flip our work, and then put one back loop slip stitch into every stitch, making our way down. I'm going to keep decreasing into every other row until I have a total of five stitches, and then I'll meet you guys back. I have a total of six rows and five stitches. This is as small as I want my detail to get, so I'm going to work my five back loop slip stitches into every row until I have six stitches left because I'm going to increase so that it matches this portion over here. I've just done my five back loop slip stitches going all the way down and I have six stitches left. And from here, we're going to increase into every other row, like how we decreased into every other row until we end up having the same amount of stitches. So from here, I'm going to slip stitch into that next stitch and then put one back loop slip stitch into every stitch. Now that I'm at the end of my row, I'm going to do a chain of two. The chain that's closest to my hook counts as my turning chain, and then the second chain is going to be where we insert our hook. So turn our work into the second chain from our hook, insert with a slip stitch. So insert, yarn over, pull through everything. And then from here, continue to put one back loop slip stitch into every stitch. Now that we've made our way all the way down to the end, we're going to slip stitch into the base. And then we're going to do our increase together one more time. So slip stitch into the next stitch into the base and flip our work. Put one back loop slip stitch into every stitch. 
Now that we're at the end, we're going to chain out two, flip our work, insert our hook into the second chain from our hook with one back loop slip stitch and then put one back loop slip stitch into every stitch. Continue to increase like this into every other row until we don't have any more stitches left and then do a chain up of one and cut. And then do the same thing that we did here on the other side. All right, so I've just finished up going in with both of my sleeves and I am ready to get started on my mock neck. So we're going to try this on and then we're going to make a chain that reaches from one corner going up and over our shoulder to the next corner. And my corners are actually very close to each other. So I'm gonna start off by inserting my hook into this back panel's corner stitch, insert my yarn onto my hook, pull through, and I'm just going to make a chain of one. From here, I'm going to single crochet into the front panel's corner stitch, just like this. And then from here, we're going to put one single crochet into every stitch that we have, including our side single crochets that we have in between each of our sections. So let's just do the first bit together. I'm going to put one single crochet into every stitch until I reach my first side single crochet row. So I've reached my first side single crochet row. It's in between my cable stitch section and my cold shoulder detail. So I'm gonna insert my hook into that loop and then single crochet. We're going to maintain this going all the way around. Once we reach this corner, we're going to make the same chain that we made on this side and then along the back. We're going to put one single crochet into every stitch. Once we reach the back section, we're going to put two single crochets into every side half double crochet, and then one single crochet into every side single crochet row. We're going to slip stitch it into the chain up of one space, and then I'll meet you guys back. We just single crocheted all the way around our neck, and now we're going to go in with our mock neck. But right before we do that, we're going to want to make sure that our work is slipped right side out and right side up, meaning that our cable is faced up towards us. But from here, we're going to start off by making a chain the length that we want our mock neck to be. I want mine to be about three inches or eight centimeters, so I'm gonna make a chain of 12. Once we have our chain, we're going to block off that last chain and do a chain up of one. Into that chain that we blocked off, or the second chain from our hook, we're gonna insert with a slip stitch. Let's do one more. Into that next chain, yarn over, pull through everything. We're going to put one slip stitch into every chain. Now that we've slip stitched into every chain, we're now going to slip stitch it into the base. But we want to make sure that we're working clockwise and we're going to be inserting into our back loop. So into our next stitch, we're going to insert our hook into that back loop, yarn over, pull through everything to close off this first row. And in order to work our way up to the next row, we're going to slip stitch into that next back loop, yarn over, pull through, and flip our work. Insert your hook into the next back loop, and then put one back loop slip stitch into every stitch. When we make our way down to the end, do a chain up of one, flip our work, and then put one back loop slip stitch into every stitch, making sure that we're connecting it into the base the same way that we just did, so into the back loops. Keep doing this until we don't have any more stitches left, and then I'll meet you guys back so that we can seam it up. We've just finished going in with our mock neck, and now we're going to seam up our work. So from here, we're gonna be doing outside loop slip stitch seam, so we're gonna make sure that our work is still clipped right side out and right side up. Into the first available stitch into the front panel, we're gonna insert our hook into the front loop or the loop that's closest to us and then into the next available loop into the back panel, insert your hook into that back loop. Yarn over, pull through everything. Let's do the next one. Into the next available stitch, insert your hook only into that front loop, and then into the back panel, into that next available stitch, insert your hook only into that back loop. Yarn over and pull through everything. We're going to put one outside loop slip stitch into every stitch, making sure we're going in through both the front and the back panel at the same time. We don't have any more stitches left, do a chain of a one and cut. Now that we have all that done, we're gonna get started on our pocket. So we are all 
going to start off by making a chain of 18. Now that we have our chain, we're going to block off our last chain, do a chain up of two. From here, prepare for a half double crochet, and then into that chain that we blocked off, or the third chain from our hook, insert with a half double crochet. Let's do the next one. Yarn over, insert your hook into that next chain, pull through. Yarn over, pull through three. Put one half double crochet into every chain. Now that we have half double crocheted all the way down our chain, do a chain up of one, flip our work, and put one single crochet into every stitch. Now that we have single crocheted all the way down, we're going to start our alpine by doing a chain up of three and flip our work. We're going to do an increase of two front post double crochets into the first half double crochet from our first row. So not counting our chain up of two, we're going to yarn over. Insert our hook behind that first half double crochet, yarn over, pull through. We're going to pull our work up so that we have the same height as our chain three, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. And we're going to be putting one more into that same half double crochet. So yarn over, insert your hook, pull through, pull our work up, pull through two, pull through two. From here, we're going to prepare for a double crochet, skip one stitch from our previous row, and then insert our hook into the next with a double crochet. And then we're going to go in with a front post double crochet. So yarn over, insert our hook into the next half double crochet. So we're going to skip this next one, insert your hook into the next. Yarn over, pull through, we're going to pull up, pull through two, and pull through two. And from here, we're going to go in with one double crochet, so yarn over. Skip one stitch from the previous row, double crochet into the next. And we're going to keep repeating one front post double crochet and one double crochet all the way down until we have just two stitches left. So we've just done our sequence all the way down until we had two stitches left. We're now going to do an increase of two front post double crochets into that last half double crochet not counting this one on the end. So yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over, pull through. I'm going to yank up, pull through two, pull through two, and then once more into that same half double crochet. Yank up, pull through two, pull through two. Now to close off this row, we're going to put one double crochet into the last stitch from our previous row. So yarn over, put one double crochet into that last stitch. Do a chain up of one and flip our work. Put one single crochet into every stitch. Now that we've single crocheted all the way down, do a chain up of three and flip our work. And we're going to repeat the same thing. So yarn over and then into the first stitch that we have from our previous alpine stitch row, we're going to go in with an increase. So yarn over, pull through, yank up, pull through two, pull through two. Then one more into that first stitch, so yarn over, insert your hook, pull through, yank up, pull through two, pull through two. Prepare for a double crochet, skip one stitch from the previous row, then double crochet into the next. And then we're going to do one more set, so yarn over, into that next double crochet, insert your hook, pull through, yank up, pull through two, pull through two. Prepare for a double crochet, skip one stitch, double crochet into the next. We're going to keep doing that going all the way down until we have two stitches left and then we're going to repeat doing an increase of two front post double crochets and then a double crochet into the last stitch. We're going to keep going like this, increasing into every alpine row until we have a size that is similar to the one that we have sectioned off on the body piece for our pocket. And then I'll meet you guys back. All right, so I am back with the height that I need my pocket to be. I have a total of 15 rows, and from here, we're just going to clean up the edges with a single crochet row along each. So from here, we're going to do a chain up of one. And then into each side half double crochet row, we're going to put two single crochets, and then one single crochet into every side single crochet row. So my first row that I have is a side half double crochet row. 
So I'm going to single crochet once, single crochet twice. My next row is a side single crochet. So insert my hook into there with one single crochet. We're going to keep alternating like this until we reach the corner. We reach the corner, do a chain up of one and cut, and then do the same thing that we did here on the other side. Now that we have single crocheted along the edges of our pockets, we are now ready to sew it onto our piece. So I'm going to show you guys how to get this first portion started up top. So what we're going to do is make sure that the corners that we have are aligned from this corner, to this edge of our cable. I'm going to insert my hook into the corner stitch that I have right where the cable stitch is. I'm going to place my pocket right on top. Insert my hook into that corner stitch. I'm going to insert my yarn onto my hook. And from here, I'm going to pull through both the pocket and the piece. Once we have that, we are now going to be inserting our hook into the next stitch that we have into our piece. So very carefully place that, making sure that the loop that we have on our hook is still on our hook. I insert it in through that next stitch, place the pocket back on top, and then also into the next stitch that we have into the pocket. I'm going to pull my yarn nice and tight. Once we have that, I'm going to yarn over and then I'm going to make sure that I'm pulling through the pocket, through the piece, and then also through the loop that I have on my hook as well. So I'm going to yarn over. I'm going to pull through the pocket. I'm going to pull through the piece. And then also, I'm going to pull through that first loop that I have on my hook. So if you guys need to, just pull that over. Let's do the next one together. Insert your hook into the next stitch that we have into our piece. And then also into the next stitch that we have into our pocket. And we're going to repeat. So yarn over. Make sure we're pulling through our pocket. Make sure we're pulling through our piece. And then also pull through that loop that we have on our hook. And we are going to keep doing this, going all the way down until we don't have any more stitches left into our pocket, and then do a chain up of one and cut. Now that we've seamed up the top of our pocket together, now we're going to do the bottom. So the easiest way to do this is just to align the pocket on top of the piece, making sure that it's not twisted. And what we're going to do is insert our hook into this corner stitch, and then into our row that we have right underneath where our hook is, I'm going to insert my hook. And from here, we're going to single crochet both the pocket and the piece together. So into the first available stitch that I have into my pocket, I'm going to insert my hook. And then into the next stitch that I have into my piece, I'm going to insert my hook. And then I'm going to single crochet. Let's do one more together into the next stitch I have into my pocket, and then into the next stitch I have into my piece, single crochet. And keep doing this, making sure we're going into the pocket and the piece at the same time until we don't have any more stitches left, and then do a chain up of one and cut. Now that we have finished up seaming our pocket to our body, now we're going to go in with our bottom band. So the first thing we're going to do is single crochet along the bottom. I've inserted my hook into my side half double crochet row that's right next to my side seam. I'm going to insert my yarn onto my hook, pull through, do a chain up of one. And then from here, we're going to be putting two single crochets into every side half double crochet, and then one single crochet into every side single crochet row. So let's get that started. This is my first side half double crochet row. I'm going to insert my hook into there with one single crochet and then into that same side half double crochet row, my second single crochet. Next is a side single crochet row. So I'm going to insert my hook into there with just one. I'm going to keep alternating between one to two single crochets, working all the way around. Once we reach the bottom of the pocket, we're going to put one single crochet into each of these stitches. And then once we make our way back to this chain up of one space, we're going to slip stitch into there and then I'll meet you guys back.
Now that we have seam crocheted all along the bottom, we're now going to go in with the length of our bottom band. I want mine to be about two and a half inches or six centimeters. So I'm going to start off by making a chain of 10. Now that we have our chain, I'm going to block off that last chain and do a chain up of three. This is our turning chain. From here, we're going to yarn over and insert our hook into that chain that we blocked off or the fourth chain from our hook with a double crochet. Let's do the next one together. Yarn over, insert your hook into that next chain. Yarn over, pull through. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over and pull through two. Put one double crochet into every chain. Now that we've double crocheted all the way down our chain, we're now going to slip stitch it into the base. So we're going to start off by counting up one, two stitches. We're going to slip stitch into that second stitch to close off this row. So yarn over, pull through everything. And now our first row is attached. To work our way up to the next row, we're going to be slip stitching into the next two stitches. So slip stitch one, slip stitch two. From there, flip our work, and then we're going to put one back loop double crochet into every stitch. So yarn over, insert your hook into that first back loop, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Put one back loop double crochet into every stitch. When we don't have any more, do a chain up of three. Flip our work and put one back loop double crochet into every stitch connecting it into the base the same way that we just did. I'll meet you guys back when we don't have any more stitches left to seam up our bottom band. All right, so we have made our way all the way around with our back loop double crochets for our bottom band. We don't have any more stitches left, so now we're going to seam it up. So the first thing we're going to do is flip our bottom band inside out. Now that our bottom band is flipped inside out, we're gonna be inserting our hook into the corner stitch into the front panel and into the corner stitch into the back panel, which is my working yarn. From here, I'm just going to pull through and do a chain up of one to secure. Next, we're gonna be single crocheting in through the front and the back panel at the same time to seam it up. So let's insert our hook into the next stitch into the front panel. And then let's insert our hook into the next stitch into the back panel and then single crochet. Let's do the next one together as well. Insert your hook into that next stitch into the front panel. Insert your hook into the next stitch into the back panel. From here, single crochet. Put one single crochet into every stitch. When we don't have any more stitches left, do a chain up of one and cut. All right, so we have just finished up going in with our bottom band. The last thing that we're going to do is our hood. So what we're going to do is first try this on and then figure out where we want our hood to start. I've inserted my stitch markers in between my underarm cable stitch and then my cold shoulder detail on both sides. Now from here, we're going to need to make sure that our work is faced right side out and right side up, meaning our cable is faced up towards us. We're gonna insert our six millimeter hook into the right side and then we're going to single crochet along the back until we hit our next stitch marker. So let's do the first few together. I'm going to insert my hook into my right stitch marker. Insert my yarn onto my hook. Pull through, do a chain up of one. And then into each of these loops that we have, we're going to put one single crochet until we hit our next stitch marker. Now that we've single crocheted all the way around to our next stitch marker, we're going to do a double crochet row. So do a chain up of three. From here, put one double crochet into every stitch. When we don't have any more stitches left, do a chain up of one, flip our work, and then put one single crochet into every stitch, making our way back to this end, and then I'll meet you guys back so we can do our alpine stitches together. All right, so we are back, and we should now have three rows, a single crochet, a double crochet, and then a single crochet row. Now we're gonna get started on our alpine stitches. So do a chain up of three, and then into that first double crochet that we have from our double crochet row, we're going to insert it with a front post double crochet. So yarn over, skipping this chain up of three, insert your hook behind that first double crochet. Yarn over, pull through. 
we're going to pull our work up so that we have the same height as our chain three, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. From here, we're going to do one regular double crochet. So yarn over, we're going to skip one stitch from our previous row and then double crochet into the next, just like that. Let's do one more set together. Yarn over, insert your hook behind that next double crochet, yarn over, pull through, yank up, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, and then another double crochet. So yarn over, skip one stitch from the previous row, double crochet into the next. Keep alternating between a front post double crochet and a regular double crochet, making our way all the way down to the end. When we don't have any more stitches left, do a chain up of one, flip our work, and then put one single crochet into every stitch. Then I'll meet you guys back so that we can do our second alpine stitch row together. So we have just finished up our alpine row. Once we reach the end, we did a chain up of one, flipped our work, and then now we have a row of single crochets. Now we're going to get started on our next alpine row together, and then it's going to be a repeat of these two with a single crochet row in between. So now that we're at this corner, we're going to do a chain up of three. Since the first stitch from our previous alpine row is a front post double crochet, we're going to put one double crochet into that first stitch. And then from here, my next stitch is a double crochet, so we're going to do a front post double crochet into there. So yarn over. Insert behind that double crochet, pull through. Yank up, pull through two, pull through two. We're going to keep repeating these two rows that we have with a single crochet row in between until this reaches the crown of our head. I'll meet you guys back to let you guys know how many rows I end up having. All right, so I am back with my hood and I have a total of 44 rows. And from here, all we're gonna do is seam it up. So I'm going to insert my hook into my working yarn and then I'm going to flip my hood inside out. So all I'm going to do is make sure that our hood is flipped right side out and I'm actually just going to flip it this way so that now we see the inside. And then I'm going to be inserting my hook into the corner stitch into the front panel which I'm already in and then into the corner stitch into the back panel. From here I'm going to yarn over and pull through everything. Now we're going to single crochet going in through the front and the back panel at the same time. So insert your hook into the next available stitch into the front panel and then into the next available stitch into the back panel and then single crochet. Let's do one more. Next available stitch into the front panel, next available stitch into the back panel and single crochet. We're going to keep doing this going all the way down. When we don't have any more stitches left, do a chain up of one and cut. All right, so now that we have just seamed up our hood, what we're going to do next is single crochet along the edge to clean up our piece. So I'm going to insert my same six millimeter hook into the stitch that I have on the other side of my hood. So the next available stitch, I'm going to insert my yarn onto my hook, pull through, do a chain up of one to secure. And we're just going to do the first few with each other. We're going to be putting two single crochets into every side double crochet and then one single crochet into every side single crochet row. So the first row that I have is a side single crochet. So insert with one. And then this is my next side double crochet. So insert with two. Let's do one more set. This is my next side single crochet. So insert with one single. And this is my next side double, insert with two singles. And we're gonna keep doing this going all the way around. We're going to slip stitch into the next available stitch that we have into the collar, and then do a chain up of one and cut. And now that we have cleaned up our hood, we are actually all done. The last thing we're gonna have to do is weave in all of our ends. And our hoodie's all finished. It took a lot to get here, but I'm happy with how it turned out. I said it earlier, but I love every element of this hoodie. It feels like my crochet design final and I'm so excited to share it with you. If you made it to this point in the video, it means you like what you saw and you want to support. So thank you so much for your time. It means a bunch. If you want to keep supporting, consider clicking the bell and telling all of your friends about the fun things we do here. It would mean a lot. 
And when the channel gets big enough, we get to have even more fun. There is a written pattern down below. Use offer code TCDDIY for a discount off any $9.99 plus order. And enter this week's pattern giveaway by telling us what color you'd make this in. Good luck to everyone who enters. Also, if you like this video, give it a big thumbs up because believe it or not, it really helps. And be sure to share us on Twitter, Pinterest, Instagram, and Facebook. Those links are down below. Link to our Etsy page is down there too if you want to buy this piece or any other piece on the channel. Be sure to favorite the shop so you don't miss out on new patterns and exclusive deals. As always, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see y'all in the next one.